Okay, I should have my trumpet with me today from Japan, but uh, uh, today is not my trumpet recital concert, so I do my job as a president of Fujitsu Limited of America. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is again Yasunori Kimura. I'm president and CEO of Fujitsu Laboratories of America. Welcome to our seventh annual technology symposium. This year is a special year. Uh, this year is the 20th anniversary of our company. So it is true honor to celebrate with the Laboratories of America 20 years milestone today at our technology symposium. Past, over the past two decades, we have played an integral role in business and technology breakthroughs in Fujitsu. Being physically in Silicon Valley and part of innovative culture has enabled us to further drive our research and advance with the technology and the market leadership. Now I'd like to now I'd like to give you an overview of our company, including a short video about our past and future. Then I briefly introduce today's Seaman program. So we are wholly on the subsidiary of Fujitsu Laboratory Limited based in Silicon Valley with an additional office in Richardson, Texas. We have nearly 70 researchers here in Silicon Valley, United States, where we leverage our location in the heart of Silicon Valley and Telecom Corridor to innovate next generation ICC solutions. The constant pursuit of innovation is our Fujitsu DNA and is core to what we do in our lab. But we cannot do it alone. We must collaborate closely with fellow Fujitsu Group companies and customers in a dynamic innovation ecosystem that builds synergies with leading universities, research institutes, and other technology partners. Keeping this in mind, we have been collaborating with Stanford, UC Berkeley, MIT, and Park. So here I'll explain our history and accomplishment. Innovation has already been a bedrock of what Fujitsu does. We also realize that Silicon Valley is the center of the innovation with many new ideas and talent around here. Therefore, we established Fujitsu Laboratories of America in 1993 in Silicon Valley to research new innovation ideas and to support Fujitsu's business. To leverage an advantage of being <coughs> in Silicon Valley, FRA proposed a new vision, networked and open in 2006. 2006. And started to use open innovation to innovate with partners, with speed up the innovation and reduce the risk at the same time. The focus of FLA's R&D used to be a platform technologies, but after Fujitsu announced its vision, human-centric intelligent society in 2009, we started to shift our R&D to technologies to solutions that can help resolve social issues. Over the past two, year, two decades, we have filed many patent, published technical papers, and researches has contributed to many Fujitsu solution in the area of CAD, networks, servers, and other products. Some of the examples are listed here. Here, I'd like to show you a three-minute video about our past and future. R&D has always been a very important part of Fujitsu DNA. Since 1935, we have been committed to innovating leading edge technologies that transform the world while serving our customers and society. In 1993, to better serve our customers globally, we established Fujitsu Laboratories of America, also known as FLA. We started in Silicon Valley to take advantage of the unique innovation ecosystem, then expanded to a second laboratory in Telecom Corridor in Richardson, Texas. 
Back in the 90s, I was part of the original research team at FLA, collaborating on CAD research with the UC Berkeley and Carnegie Mellon University. Our research focus has uh, evolved since then, and I'm currently researching software validation technology. This is one of the real perks of uh, working for FLA and working in the Valley. Everything is so dynamic here. You, you rapidly innovate, and you evolve your uh, research with the technology. At FLA, we believe in open innovation, jointly innovating with our partners, including universities and other research institutes. This enables us to both generate new research ideas and reduce cycle time from research concept to product prototype. In 2006, we started organizing regular events as a platform for new idea generation, encouraging collective thinking with local thought leaders about the future and key technology topics. Fujitsu and Park have a long-standing partnership that goes back about 10 years. We worked with them in uh, Tokyo with the laboratories and we focused on knowledge management projects and the use of ethnography. And then in more recent years we started working with FLA here in Silicon Valley and those projects were mostly security projects like cloud management and authentication but we also worked on the generation of new business models. In recent years, we've branched into new research areas that are important to Fujitsu around core systems, networking, and industry applications. Even expanding into new areas such as data-driven healthcare, open education systems, and smart energy. Sustainability and corporate social responsibility are core values at Fujitsu and we enjoy working on projects that contribute to quality of life. Our research focuses on energy management and demand response and we drive industry standardization in these important areas. It's really rewarding to um, work at projects here at the FLA that have um, the potential to influence uh, people's uh, lives and uh, society. Uh, we are currently researching uh, mobile healthcare. Uh, we are creating data aggregation devices and uh, architecting a platform that uh, facilitates uh, the development of um, uh, real-time streaming and predictive analytics. Uh, the hope is uh, uh, that our technology uh, will pull diagnostics outside the confines of uh, hospitals and uh, complement current medical services. We've never lost sight of our core mission to support Fujitsu's vision of a human-centric, intelligent society. An era where technology empowers people and promotes sustainability and quality of life. We aspire to do this through excellence in innovation. Collaborating with and contributing to the dynamic ecosystem here in North America. Okay, now I hope you have a better idea about FRA after viewing this video. So now let's talk about today's event. So theme for today's event is uh, uh, from cloud to ambient intelligence, technology that will transform the human experience. The ambient in intelligence is a vision of a technology that becomes invisibly embedded in our natural surroundings. It is present whenever you need it and assist, assist us our day-to-day -day activities, making our, more, our life more comfortable and secure. I think this matches with uh, Fujitsu's vision of human-centric, intelligent society. But I also think a variety of technologies will be needed in able to enable the ambient intelligence environment, including sensors, AI, artificial intelligence, SCI, context-aware, biometrics and nanotechnologies. I would say Fujitsu has been researching and working on many areas of these technologies. So this is one of the, our visions on the services based on sensor network, especially related to healthcare. There are many services that could be implemented or developed 
developed using such this platform. Here we have only listed a few. These are intended to show the breadth of possibilities and stimulate further thinking. Uh, this is another example of uh, ambient intelligence. AMI stands for Advanced Metering Infrastructure. Fujitsu provides an end-to-end -end cloud based AMI and other smart grid applications based on Fujitsu's with read mesh network. Both utility companies and consumers can benefit from this technology, including flexible pricing options, more accurate billing, better management and energy supply and usage. To enable such solution, many technologies are also required, including smart meter, network, software, cloud infrastructure, easy to use interface, and data analytics. After 3-11 disaster in Japan, managing energy efficiently becomes an urgent issue in Japan. Our AMI solution got a lot of interest from industry and government and is going to be used in the Japanese governmental project. So finally, I'd like to explain about uh, today's program. Today's program includes the keynotes, presentations, and panel discussion on how technology will better the lives of people and society in the 21st century. Speakers include leaders from industry and academia, including Fujitsu, Arista Networks, Intel, Sprint, Google, Cabri Foundation, Stanford, and UC Berkeley. So this is a technology symposium. Please feel free to share your views with us and other attendees, and let's have a fruitful discussion on today's topic. Thank you. Have a good time at our event. Thank you very much.